Hi, how you doing out there in YouTube land? This is Stiletto coming at you from the Wild Wild West. Hope everybody's doing okay out there. The corona, the corona virus continues. It is still out there and is still doing mass destruction and, and causing harm to people. But it does look like, the good news is, it does look like it's starting to plateau. But what that means is that we don't have drastic amounts of more people getting sick and dying every day. It's sort of plateauing, but people are still getting sick and dying every day. So it's not over with. So uh, I hope you all just keep on doing your social distancing and and doing what we can until we come up with a, a solution for this virus, you know, whether it be a vaccine or a cure, whatever it needs to be. But uh, let's just keep, keep social distancing and I hope everybody's doing it good up there. Today, Today, as you all know, I love my cold steels. I will always carry my cold steels. I absolutely love my cold steels. Don't get me wrong. I'm still the same old stiletto. I still love my cold steels. But, I must admit, I have fallen in love. I have absolutely fallen in love. Head over heels for the Benchmade Sock P391 series of folders. I absolutely love these. I absolutely, I've been carrying this thing every day since I got it. I mean, it's like, it's a light, it's super lightweight. The blade is super sharp. It's good for cutting open paper products, you know, envelopes, boxes, whatever you need to do it for it. You know, it, it's good for that too. And, uh, it's been holding a great edge. I don't have any dings on my edge or anything like that. It's working just great. And I love it because this is really like, this is really a black label, uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, this is one Benchmade's black class knives. And it's really a military, military style knife or law enforcement style knife. It's, it's developed for hard use for law enforcement or military or rescue people. But I like it too. I'm not a rescue person. I'm a, I'm a retired, you know, I'm retired from different things and stuff like that. But, uh, I don't, you know, I just love this. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful knife. I must admit, I'm in love. I love the, I love the access lock on this. The only thing, the only thing, you know, no, Benchmade. I hope somebody from Benchmade is listening. Let's have a talk, Benchmade. I love this knife. This is my absolute favorite. And whatever kind of steels or handle materials you come out with this thing, I'm going to be buying it because I love this blade. I love this model. I love the size of it. Everything's perfect for me. And it may not be perfect for everybody else, but it's perfect for me because I love stilettos. And to me, this is a perfect tactical stilettos, perfect size, everything, size, weight, everything. But I would like to see 3V. Give me 3V. 3V. I'll pay a little bit more for it. Come on. 3V. And also, I'd like to see a stainless steel like the M390. A stainless steel on one of these. And if you do want an M390, DLC it. You'll see all of the hardware and the blade and everything. DLC, diamond, diamond light coated. I love these kind of finishes, that your, your Cerakote finishes, because they wear off nicely. It's not like the old cold steel Tough X. I hated that. But your, your coating wears off nicely, and it wears off smoothly, and it gives it like a, a, a worn look. I love that. I love that. But DLC, to me, is the best knife coating that I've experienced so far. I mean, it's... It doesn't, it's a, a super hard wearing coating. And I would like to see one of these in DLC. And, you know, do the stainless steel one. Do the stainless steel one in DLC. Do, a, do an M390. And keep it all blacked out. Because I like it keeping, you know, this is a tactical blade. You don't, don't make a, don't make a, a silly looking civilian version or whatever. Keep it tactical. I think it's cool as a tactical blade. But um, give us some different steel choices. I, I want to see, I want to see a 3V because I love 3V. And I also love your M4 too. Your 3V and your M4. Either one of those would be perfectly fine for me. Um, I'm not a big fan of D2, but I've had a good experience with Benchmade D2, so your D2, so, so you know, that, that was okay with me on this. 
but normally I don't buy knives with, with D2 blades. I do have some some of your D2 balisons though, so you know I've experienced it and I've uh, I've had good experiences with your D2. That's the reason why it was okay with me. But I would like to see 3V. 3V is the most awesome steel out there right now for carbon steels. And after that, I like your M4. But um, M390 also, M390. And then maybe do a low budget version of this in, in 154CM or something. You know, that, that's another good steel that you have, you know, have good experiences with your steel. But anyway, let me get on to this video. I hope you were listening, Benchmate. I hope you're listening. This is an awesome knife that you got. And I would like to see it, you know, just offer it with some different steel choices. And yet you offer it at different price ranges or whatever, you know, have 154 CM be like, you know, a little bit over $100 or something like that. You know what I mean? Uh, and, you know, and have the D2 and then have like a M390 in it and then a, a 3V. That would be awesome. Or M4. That'd be awesome. You know, price ranges have them laddered out like that. But this, this is an awesome knife. And I also, I would like to... Um, if you're listening, Benchmade, offer as a as a side thing for this um, something that you can re replace this backspacer with, like like more of these barrel spacers like you have in the front, the barrel spacers and the screws. It looks like it, it looks like if I had two more two more barrel spacers and screw sets, I could replace this backspacer. I would like to just leave it open, and I, and I like I like the I like the carbide glass breaker, but. I don't really need one for my for what I, you know, my everyday carry or whatever, and uh, I would just like to I would just like to have this be all open, and have it you know be the barrel spacers. I like that as an option. I love the way you made this knife. This knife is absolutely beautiful. It's, it works, functions perfectly, and everything. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Okay. Well, anyway, we got an unboxing here. An unboxing. Hmm. What we got here? Hmm. What we got here? Here we go. Well, this box is really, this, box, this is one of those packages that's really packaged up nicely. This thing's locked up like a vault. Okay, here we go. Ah, bench made. Another black class. Another black class. This is the one I didn't have. And I had to get it after I had the others. I just had to get it. Okay, let's open it up. Okay, and it's coming from Knifeworks. Knifeworks. 7009 U.S. Highway 165, Columbia, Louisiana. 71418 Knife Works. That's where I got this one from. I got it for 16150 grand total. That was, that was including shipping, tax, everything's 16150. Knife Works. Okay, let's open up the box here. Okay, it's sealed up. Like it's supposed to be. And here we go. Here we go. The clip on this one feels tighter than my other one. 
centered perfectly, just like my other two. As you see inside of it, you can see the bronze phosphorus washers. The Carbon Fiber Elite handle scales. Absolutely love Carbon Fiber Elite. I'm absolutely loving it. I like it better than the Grivery. I like, I like G10 though, don't get me wrong. I love G10, but this is new material. I really like this one. I, I respect that it's real strong and it can be made real, and make, made into a knife that's real thin and light, like this one. And it's, and the, and the, and the, and the, it's not only thin and light, but it's strong. It's real stiff. It makes the knife handle stiff. So I think I'm, I'm digging this new material. It's not, it's not a flexi, flexi handled knife, even though it's real thin like this. It's really stiff and stable. Oh, I got a first production. I got a first production. Wow, I got a collector's item. I didn't, wasn't expecting that. Hold on for a second. Hold on for a second, people. I gotta read this. What do we got here? Three hundred and seventeen out of twelve hundred. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a collector's item. I won't be using this one, people. Craig Thompson, first production. Three hundred and seventeen out of twelve hundred. Oh yeah. D2, SOCP, benchmade.com slash net, looks like. On this side of the blade, it reads, Benchmade USA 391. Sweet. I thought these were all gone. I didn't know these were still around. I wasn't expecting to get a, a collector item. I was expecting just to get a user. Have to get another one now. Though. <laughs> this will go in my collection. 391 is a pretty low number too. Not a bad number out of 1,200. Yeah, this definitely should be a collector. But anyway, let's see what it feels like. It's real stiff, it's real tight. Let's see if it goes in a lockup like the other ones I experienced. Yep, a little bit of lockup. Not as bad though, it just had a little bit of stick. There it goes, that's lockup. That's what these are like when they're brand new. They, they, they'll go into, they'll go into a, um, like what I would call a fixed blade mode, where it's hard to move the, um, the lock back and forth to disengage the lock when it's in locked up. But once you, you know, you, you use these and you open them and close them and you play with them and they all, they all break in and they're absolutely perfect. I absolutely love this blade. This is probably my favorite new blade. Out of all the new folders I've experienced, this is my favorite. These are my favorite. The new Benchmade Sock Peas. Absolutely love them. And like the only thing I would change on them is I would like to see some different steel offerings. I like to see like, you know, 3V, M4 maybe, or a 154CM, do a budget model, 154CM, or do an expensive stainless steel model and an M390. I think that would be awesome. And uh, I would like to see the stainless steel ones, or maybe all of them be, be uh, coated in DLC. I just like DLC better than um, Cerakote. Cerakote is cool though because it wears nicely. So I don't really have a problem with Cerakote because I like the way it wears and stuff. You won't see me re, re, be uh, you won't see me remove these coatings like I did on my other uh, old cold steel ones with a uh, with a uh, um, AUS 8A stainless steel when they were coating them with the Tough X. I did not like that Tough X finish. It'd wear off in chunks. It just looked like straight up paint, like somebody took a spray can and just straight you know paint the blade and it was just wore like that too. This doesn't wear like this. This wears more like a gun coating, like a um, 
like a bluing or something. It wears nicely. You, if you understand, if you ever had a blue handgun or something like that, or a shotgun or, or a rifle, and you saw the way it wore, that's the way this. That's the way Cerakote wears. It wears off nicely like that. It gives it a nice worn look. And I like the way I like the way those blades look. I like the way blades look when they have that that finish on it. But I also like the way the DLC doesn't wear, <laughs> and the DLC just stays looking good forever. You know that's my my experience with DLC. I haven't messed up a DLC blade yet. But uh, I absolutely love these. This is a serrated one. I wanted a serrated one after owning these. This one. And the main one reason why I wanted a serrated one because. I've had my Contigo for a long time, and it's serrated, and I like it. But this one's cool too. This one's a, they stop, I understand they're not gonna be making these no more. I'm glad I got the ones I got, because this is my other favorite blade for heavier blades. This one's an easy one to carry too. I've carried this one a lot. A lot of people complain about the handle, but I love the handle. I love the way it's grippy like that. And if you're wearing gloves or something, it's like awesome. It's a great blade, great blade. But that, that's my other um, black class knife that I like. And I have, you know, three or four of them or whatever I got. And I got three or four of these. <laughs> Absolutely love that this is a collector's item. This will be going in my collectors with my uh, my bench, bench mate collectors. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Absolutely still, like I said before though, I still love my own. I still love my cold steels, but this is probably my new favorite knife. Out of all my knives, I think this is probably my... When I say my new favorite knife, I don't mean just favorite knife because of the way it looks or or cosmetic reasons or whatever. I like this one because I like to carry it. This one, uh, this one is like, you know, it's, it's long enough to be a good defensive knife to me. I think this is a good size for a defensive knife, for a pocket knife that you carry every day all the time. You know... It only weighs 4.1 pound. I mean, what 4.1 pounds? 4.1 ounces. This way, this way, the new one. See what the new one weighs. 4.1 ounce. 4.1 ounces. My old one. 4.1 ounces. Same thing. It means the exact same amount. Absolutely love these. Let me read you the specs on them. I got the specs over here. The blade length is 4.47 inches. Blade th thickness is 0 0.121 inches. Open length is 10.13 inches. Close length is 5.66 inches. Weight is one point, I mean 4.1 ounces. Handle thickness is 0 0.508 inches. Blade finish is coated, and we know it's black Cerakote. The blade steel is D2. The, the hardness, the rock rail hardness is 60 to 62. The blade style or shape is a spear point. I would call it more, it's like a spear point or a dagger. Whatever, we, whatever you want to call it. To me, it's more of like a dagger. Uh, it's more like a stiletto style dagger to me. Um, clip type is D2. They have, the, the, they have the ring clip, and then they have the deep carry clip. I don't care for the ring clip. I tried it. Clip, you could put this, you could put the clips on any position. You could put it in both sides in the front. I mean, a tip down or tip up. You can carry it any way that you want on either side, right or left. Uh, as a glass breaker, handle material is a new carbon fire CF Elite. Lanyard hole, yes. Molly compatible, yes. Use. Recommended use is rescue and tactical. Rescue and tactical. I totally see that with this knife. If I was a fireman or EMT or a police officer that was on the beat, you know what I mean, highway patrolman, 
anybody, you know, special forces or CIA or whatever. I would love to carry this. This would be the knife I'd want to carry. Me, myself, I've, I've had automatics and, and uh, OTS and side openers and everything else like that. And I don't really care for them that much. I know a lot of people love to be able to just push a button and watch the blade fly out, but after a while, the, the button, uh, uh, they always break down on you. There's something they, they always fail on you. And it's like, uh, I don't know. And besides, you know, with manual knives, to me, I like these better. You can't take an Italian switchblade and close it like this and open it that fast. I like that better. Because yeah, if I want to, I can open it slow and be quiet. Close it slow and be quiet. Open it. Be quiet. Close it. Be quiet. Or I can snap it out. I love this knife. Absolutely love it. The access lock on these rocks. To me, the access lock is like super fast. It's a lot faster than the Contigo. And that's why I can compare it to. I, 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 um, I used to carry the Benchmade AFCK 806. I think it had D, that, that had D2 also. And uh, I carried that one for about five or six years. I carried it a long time. It was, that used to be my favorite blade too. And, uh, and then I got into the cold steels and stuff. I got into the um, triad locks. But this knife right here, I love the Contigo. But the Contigo's a little bit on the heavy side for me when I carry it all the time. You know, I've carried it a lot, but I don't carry it all the time because this one right here, I can carry it every day, all day long, 365 days a year. You know, I mean, this this is a super easy to carry knife, and it's lightweight, it's narrow, it's, it doesn't leave an imprint in your pocket. I mean, it, it's it's fairly deep carry, so you know you don't see hardly anything. Uh, and besides that, it's all black, so you don't really don't see that much at all. And if you're wearing jeans or you know blue jeans or, or black jeans or whatever it disappears it disappears it doesn't attract any attention i love it this is this is to me a great blade but anyway then I'm, I'm just rambling on about this thing because I'm, I'm i'm in love with this new life I, i'm really i really bench made thank you i don't know is it is i don't know if greg greg thompson actually designed this knife or is his name is just on it i don't know i don't know how that all works Cause I know all, I don't know that much about Benchmade and what they're doing nowadays. You know, I used to be in the Benchmade back in the in the '80s and '90s when I was in the Balasongs. But uh, I absolutely love this knife. I absolutely love this knife. This is my favorite knife, and it's probably gonna be the knife I carry the most out of all my pocket knives. But anyway, I just thought I had to put that out there. I had to get it off my chest. I hope somebody from Benchmade is listening, cause I've been trying to find barrel spacers because I want to remove this back piece right here. I want to remove this back piece with the glass breaker and I just want to have it be open with, uh, with the same barrel spacers like right here that, that uh, the Benchmade uses right here. But I need, looks like I need two more barrel spacers. Two more barrel spacers with the black hardware and screws and everything. But I hope that somebody from Benchmade is listening and they'll, they'll help me out with that. Because I would definitely like to get a set of barrel spacers, two more, two more barrel spacers, black barrel spacers. I don't know if I could use the ones that are from other knives. Like I don't know, this has a supposed this is a three millimeter blade, and um, I don't know if like the 940 and like the other models and stuff like that they have barrel spacers. I don't know if they're the exact same size. I'm almost tempted just to try them out, just to get some and just try it out and see if they work or not. <laughs> And if they don't work, you know, I'll be out of 16 bucks or whatever they cost to buy them or whatever. But anyway, I love this knife, people. This is my, this is what I highly recommend right now. If you're like me and like to carry a, a knife that's good for everything, you know, like good, I mean like good for everything, like opening up boxes, your mail, stuff like that, you know, because the blade, this blade really opens up letters really, really nice. It's a great letter opener. <laughs> but, uh. And, and, you, and you also like to carry a, carry a knife that be, that's long enough and big enough to be a, a really good self-defense folder too. 
and it's light enough where you don't you don't want to, you don't want to you don't want to carry a big old heavy knife that, that that weighs you down and and you always know that you're carrying it all day long. This is the one I would recommend for you. The SOC P, the S O S O C P, S O C P folder from Benchmade. Model 391 series. Don't I wouldn't get the 390 series. The 390 series, the, the series that they had before this looked just like this one, but had a liner lock. And I do not like Benchmade liner locks. That's the reason why I didn't get it before. I waited and you know, I, I saw this one before when it came out like a year, a year and a half ago. And I wanted to get it, but I said, no, I can't get a, I can't get a liner lock knife from Benchmade. Because I had a liner lock, I had an um, AFCK. 800 series liner lock and I fold on me and cut up my hand really bad when the liner lock failed on me so I don't like liner locks I'm sorry people I don't, I don't care if you like liner locks or not this you know everything's about personal preference I do not like liner locks the only knife that I has that I have that has a liner lock are my tie light sixes and the only reason why I like the liner lock on those is because the heavy duty liner lock that's folded over and because I just love the knife so much. I just love the Tie Light 6 so much that it doesn't matter. To me, the, the, the liner lock on the Tie Light 6 is, is stronger than the old Italian pick locks. You know, so, I don't know. But anyway, another story. But this one right here, this is awesome. The axle slot was made for the, was made for the stiletto, for the folding stiletto knife. And uh, doing, it, doing it in a black class, and making a tactical axis lock stiletto. It's a match made in, match made in paradise. That's all I got to say. These are beautiful knives. I highly recommend them. If you haven't checked them out yet, check them out. I know I know that they're hard to find them because they sell out all the time. But these are beautiful knives. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Highly, 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 highly recommend it. It's my favorite knife to carry. All right, I'm done.